Hey y'all, it's the Wonder Raquel that get it again with another video. And today is just gonna be a awareness video. I don't know if I'm gonna edit this, but um I'm kinda uncomfortable talking about this because I really don't talk about it, you know. Um this is gonna be an awareness video for all the kids who are just like me and they have very disturbing thoughts about their self or disturbing thoughts about their life. I just want y'all to know y'all should love yourself. You need to love yourself because ain't nobody gonna love you like you. And that's the number one thing you need to do is to love yourself because you're perfect, you're beautiful. I know it's a struggle and I know some people might not get it and that's okay because they not in your shoes you know what i mean and that's okay but i'ma just talk to y'all about what y'all need to do but that's the number one thing and if you don't love yourself you have to love yourself you need to start because you only got you so the next thing is don't think your issues is small and don't compare your issues to other people because your issue your small issue might have something way bigger under it so if you get mad at a friend or something it's not it's probably have a bigger issue under that like a bigger trauma under that bigger things that remind you of certain things and don't think your issues is small because they're not people have personal issues for a reason because they're it's personal to them and nobody if someone tell you their issues are bigger it's just they shouldn't say that point blank because their issues is their issues your issues is your issues and there's not there's no small issue there's no big issue because something big can be small to them but can be big to you you know what i mean and it's just like don't let nobody tell you your issue is small because it's not if you are hurting yourself it's, it can't be that small. You know what I mean? And I'm going to just tell y'all my little story or whatever of this week. And y'all see this? Um, This is um for me, you know, hurting myself. And I had hurt myself in my room. And it was so unexpected because I did it so fast and it like opened my whole arm and I never did anything like that. And it's like, it was too fast. Like I, it was unexpected. And I went downstairs because I was so shocked that I did that. And my mom was seeing it and they just started, her and her friend just started yelling. And it's just like, before that, it's like, before that, I was having a conversation on the phone. Well, I was trying to check up on a friend. And, well, a friend that I was messing with. And it's like, his girlfriend or baby moms, I didn't even know they were together. And um, she answered the phone. And I wasn't even worried about her. I, I don't even know you. The thing that triggered me was before he hung up or she hung up. He was like, oh, this the friend that you told me to stop talking to. And it's like, what? Because I'm tr over here worried about you. And you know how that could seem so small. It's not small because... 
in my lifetime, like in my childhood, I always felt unwanted, not unloved, um, unwanted, unloved, not special, and it was just a lot of things with that. And the boy gave me a disease. So, you know, and he was so rude. He was so, he would degrade me all the time. And it was just so disrespectful. He was so disrespectful. And when someone you love or whatever keep degrading you, being disrespectful, making you have so many mental breakdowns, because this isn't the first time I wanted to kill myself or try to over this and it was just like I was done because it's like your boyfriend or whatever doesn't have anything I was trying to check on him and y'all being very disrespectful and he talking about oh this is the friend like he don't know me and that's very like mm. okay and it's like, okay. <laughs> and yeah, that probably seems small, yes. But it's not small to me. And I just want y'all to know, y'all need to get rid of them toxic people because it's just going to um, make you more depressed and everything. And it's just like, it's not worth it. They're not worth it. They're so not worth it. <laughs> Let me tell you that. They show not worth it. You deserve better. And you don't need them in your life. Period. Ugh. Period. Ah, ah. I never be. I never say that word. But. Y'all get what I'm trying to say. I think y'all do. But. Yeah. Get rid of them folks. Hold on. I'm about to look at my. Notes. Okay, and here's another thing. Boys can be suicidal too. And let me tell y'all about a friend I had or whatever. I didn't I don't know if he was suicidal, but he had like a attempt like me where he cut himself in eighth grade. And it was shocking to me because I never seen like a dude. I never knew I was young at the time, so I was very young-minded. I never knew dudes was, like, suicidal, if you know what I mean. I knew I was suicidal, but I ain't know dudes, like, I didn't see another person be, like, you know what I mean? I didn't see another person be that way. So it was just, like, uh. And ever since then, I seen him like that. I clung on to him basically and that's not a good thing because <laughs> um i really did cling on to him i don't know if it was because i was suicidal myself or i didn't want him to be like that no more or i didn't want him to see him like that and yeah it's kind of crazy because he did that now i'm doing that and it's just like ugh, i can't go to him right now it's kind of disappointing because I see him at school and I can't talk to him about my issues anymore but it's whatever He, I don't know if he's going to watch this I really don't care but yeah and um how you can help boys if they are suicidal don't don't discredit their feelings because boys have feelings even though they don't they might not um show them boys have feelings mm, and how you could help them if you see them in a situation you could tell like a teacher or if you know their mom or something i don't know because some moms don't understand it my mom don't understand it my mom don't understand mental health suicide all that um you can just talk to them, try to be their friend, and yeah.
So here's another thing that helps me. I have a journal. Mm, yes. And I'm going to do another video on journaling all the way. And journaling helps. Affirmations help. And I'm about to read some of my affirmations. This is my affirmation book. This is my affirmation book. And it says, faith makes all things possible. If y'all don't believe in God, don't click off the video. I'm not about to talk about God, y'all. Um, But I'm about to read some of my affirmations. And it do work. If you want to write it every day, you can. You can write one page or write some affirmations and read them in a mirror. I like to write them every day because I'm, I like writing. Yeah, I like writing. So it's much easier than reading them in a mirror because I'm looking at myself while I'm looking at you. Uh -uh, I don't want to look at you. But yeah, y'all get what I'm saying? So um, I'm about to read some of my affirmations to y'all. I put, I am worthy, I am enough, I am so positive, I am the most beautiful girl in the world. Y'all could put, I am loved, I love myself, because you should love yourself. And what affirmations do is reprogram your mind to believe something. So, that's why a lot of people, a lot of counselors or therapists suggest journaling or affirmations, because it do works. It do. And I had to do it on my own time. I didn't want nobody else telling me what to do. So I had to do it on my own time when I was dealing with something else. And yeah. And I put... Um, I am happy. Um, I am loved. I already said that. My mindset is good. I am a goofy person. Because I am a very goofy person. I already know that. But when I lose myself, I be forgetting, like, me, basically. I be forgetting what I am. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, it's like I'm be, I be losing myself, basically. And... And I put, I am confident and I am secure in myself. And you could just write a whole page of affirmations and write it every day if you want to. If you want to read it every day, I suggest doing a few instead of a whole page. If you're going to read it in a mirror so you won't clutter your mind. You know what I mean? And yeah, affirmations do help because it helps you reprogram your mind i'm sorry i'm looking everywhere i'm kind of when i'm uncomfortable talking about some i just look everywhere or i'll smile and a very uncomfortable smile so yeah um yeah affirmations do work it's like um manifesting but it's not manifesting it's like helping yourself basically manifesting yourself into a better version of yourself yeah if you get what i'm saying you know what i mean yeah okay my next one was get rid of toxic people i already said that get rid of them toxic ass folks because yeah get rid of them just boop boop just get them out of your life they don't deserve you they really don't deserve you and you will have better friends. You will have better people that will come into your life. Me, I like to be alone. I'm just better alone. Because when I make friends or something, I cling on to them, basically. I don't like clinging on to folks. And when, I mean, when I'm alone, I don't cling on to folks. So I'll rather stay alone. You know what I mean? Yeah. I know you're probably tired. And I want you to love yourself. You are beautiful, handsome, unique, special. You are everything. And this is coming from a stranger that don't even know you. And I'm telling you, and I don't even need to see you to know you're beautiful, handsome, and special. Straight up.
don't believe in a higher power just believe in yourself because yourself can you can bring many blessings into your own life without even believing in a higher power and i really do believe that but yeah and i'm a christian and i don't really go to church i don't read the bible the only thing I do is write in my journal. And I'm about to tell you right now. Do not make... Do not... Do not think you're crazy. Yes, this is not normal to other people. And it's not normal. But it's probably normal to us that we just... We're just tired. And don't make people... Uh, don't let people make you believe you're crazy because you're not crazy you're not crazy first of all you're not crazy um because my people be like you acting crazy no i'm not acting crazy some of this stuff is unexpected some of this stuff is just our thoughts it's us it's not the devil it's just us and yeah we're not crazy we're not crazy we probably just have mental health issues and that's not that's not being crazy that's just part of life people have mental health issues every day that's a part of life just because someone else don't have mental health issues doesn't mean they're normal and we're not just that's like telling a gay person they're not normal they're normal they're a person that just like the different sex. They're a human. I just want y'all to love yourself. That's the number one thing. Love yourself. And don't let don't let nobody destroy this degrade you. Cause they're not worth it. Their own life is messed up, probably. Because the boy I cut myself over, his life is fucked up. Uh mm. And I'm not talking about my friend from 8th grade. I'm talking about someone else. Just in case he watched this. I'm not talking about you. Um, And yeah. This is supposed to be an awareness video for suicidal kids. And I hope I really helped someone. And if I helped you, please comment down below. And subscribe for more educational videos if you want to. And I'm going to do a video on journaling. And yes. Bye, y'all.